Go screen. This is Ingram. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller since that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Second down, offense behind the sticks here. Second and 13. The play fake to Ingram. Now it's Breeze. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Thomas. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? Touchdown! New Orleans, Mark Ingram, 43 yards, and the Saints are able to cash in for six. Coming into the year, Breeze, 465 touchdown passes, add another one to the total. You know, it's funny, I just talked with his college head coach, and he told me that when Drew was a sophomore at Purdue, they weren't sure he was truly the starter, even though he started the opening game, and he made a play early in that one, where the coach got on the headset and told the rest of the staff, well, fellas, we found our quarterback. <laughs> now we got to make sure we find the rest of our team. <laughs> Breeze hasn't looked back since. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points. The kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him with contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him with contract time. You, you could have kicked that one for I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash, yeah. Super tall. <laughs> That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, at this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. Buying time to his left. And this one is incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and that takes us from second to third down. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. On third down, Rivers. Complete Williams. 
And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Tyrell Williams, 76 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Oh, spinning away. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. 12 yards there as they move the chains. They go play action here on first down. He's got it to Ingram, complete. And some nifty running there. Ultimately, it doesn't get him a whole lot, but it does take him to the 45. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Camara and an alley to run. Camara's got the first down and then so. And they will finally catch him, but not before he gets it to the 11. A big time play there for New Orleans. 44 yards. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Going on first down is Breeze. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Second down, Camara. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Saints are able to cash in for six. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And that makes it 14-10. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. So the D-line's going to spread out. On first and 10, Rivers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Bantai tail. 
In there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. Second down, Rivers. Man open left side, it's Williams. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Rivers now to throw on first down. Free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Second down now after the incompletion. They'll send Williams in motion right. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Rivers now for the 50. Left side, Williams. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20 at the 15. And that one results in 35 yards. We just saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. Here's Rivers. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Ten yards still left on second down. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. <laughs> on second down, Rivers again. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. Look at the big man rumble. The 30. Pass the 20. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. And the big boy, dare I say, he showed some athleticism there. Oh, without a doubt. And you know what else we saw on that play? Why they do more and more ball drills in practice. They want everyone proficient.